All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day. Today is an estate clean out video. If you guys haven't checked out Blue Bus Dave on YouTube, he invited myself and Paper and Moose down to uh, a clean out in southern or southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, and the, uh, he has a house that he's cleaning out right now. He has a job. And he said that we can grab anything we might want or be interested in. So uh, we're going to head over there, check it out, and we we'll do a little videoing on the house itself, on the house itself, uh, the contents inside the house, and possibly what we grab. So I know a lot of people have requested more estate cleanouts, house cleanout videos. Here it is. So let's head over there and see what this is all about, and make it a good one. Let's do it. All right, at the property. I don't think the Beamer's for sale. There's Dave's truck. Gonna run through the garage quickly. Looks like Dave cleared out a lot in here. There are tons and tons of books. That's a nice bag. That's oh, all the camping stuff. That's all your steaks. Not cheese steaks, but your steaks to uh, put your tent into the ground. Yeah, you cleaned out a lot. Cool, interesting prints here. Ferrari thing. Lots and lots of wine boxes, which are going to help to grab stuff. I'll run upstairs. Wow. Books on top of books on top of books. Look like all socks. I don't know much about these. These seem like lens for some sort of snorkel apparatus in here. It looks pretty pricey. I know they did a lot of traveling, so got the manuals. I don't know where the rest of the snorkel stuff is for this, but kind of cool. So I think I'll grab that. Grab that medicine ball. Got a box of DVDs, some CDs, got an older Walkman, and I think possibly a uh, little cassette player, which probably is vintage. I think it's a decent lot. All right, I went inside, walked up these stairs. There's a whole way over there. We're going to run to this room. This is where we had all the snorkeling stuff, the clothes. I think Dave is saving. Not that, but there's a bunch of scuba stuff. Dave's gonna take that stuff. 
Uh, but he did say there was a bunch of like Patagonia stuff on the floor. So I've seen some sneakers over here, shoes. It's not in good shape. North Face, ooh, that's a cool one. It's a really cool one. Alrighty, what is this? Got a lot of patch, ooh, let's go. Holy moly, this is awesome. That's awesome. What size is this? This is an awesome. Try to get this into some light. I think this would fit me. That's a keeper. That is 100% a keeper. It's gotta be like a large or an XL or something. XL. All right. All right, so we got boxes starting to form here. A couple of these bags might be worth some money. La Fama. La Fuma. Alright, moving into different parts of the house. Uh, I didn't want to spend too long in there. I know the camera work wasn't too well, but grabbed a couple boxes. Um, there's a ton of books here. And I think he had someone come over and do a bunch of scanning. Because uh, obviously, you know, if you're somebody who does Amazon or, uh, I guess, Amazon FBA, you scan these books quickly. There's a lot of different apps out there. And you can, you know, there's some apps where they'll pay you 80 cents a book. They'll pay for shipping. You know, you pile in 500, 600, 1,000 books out of this for 80 cents a piece. They pay shipping you'll do all right. So I think he did have someone come in and do all that because the books are all scattered. They're probably on bookcases. Um, but there also are a lot of just like neat, interesting books, like random, you know, tabletop books, I guess. You know, there, there's a decent amount of retail here when these books were first purchased. It really is a beautiful house. I mean, I don't know what you call this, a fireplace area, a living room. And you walk over here, and it's just really, really awesome. It's a little step up. You got another stair. Gives off that very Victorian-like feel in here. Ah, I see what happened. They probably had a television, like, over here. or No, it's probably over here. And that was their couch. Yeah, you'd sit down here. You guys had the fire over there, maybe a television in front of you. Very, very cool. A nice old oak beam. Alright, I'm grabbing one case of cassettes here. There are a bunch of other cassettes here. He said some of these are worth money. Um, I don't know if he wants to sell them himself. I think these are. The ones he was talking about. Like, just like, um, not podcasts. I don't even know what you'd talk, tell, what you'd call them, but I'm taking some of the, uh, the band ones. Nothing really too great. Uh, a couple blank ones here, which I'm going to leave for Dave. I don't want to feel like I'm taking advantage of the situation at all. I know he has to make some money, and he's giving me a very, very fair offer here. So, cool puzzles. There's legitimately a maze in this whole house. Like, I don't know how you even kind of get in here. Oh, duh. I kind of didn't think about that one too thoroughly. Up here, that's the staircase. 
that goes down to that one room. Uh, it just looks like paper. A lot of stuff is marked shred. Oh, I'm not walking down that. Alright. Well, back this way. Alright. Can't come to one of these places and not grab a couple books. Um, I'm trying to think of like what would sell. So I grabbed some Philadelphia books off of that. Uh, one of Bucks County. Um, I think some of these are just novels. These ones that you kind of just put on a table and leave them there. Like that might sell. Got a small collection right here. So you get the Hudson River and its painters. This Bucks County one. This one is the Hundred Years of Philadelphia. And just a larger book of Irish monuments, it looked like. I guess I should probably take the March of the Penguins book because, well, penguins. We'll take that. All right, hanging out in the corner, we have a whole thing of pencils with all different kind of advertisement on it. Funny fact of the world is somebody at the flea market, I see them at auctions, they say, hey, if you ever find pencils with random names, random towns, I saw some Minnesota in there, uh, something training center over here, something training center, uh, to pick them up because they want them, so. Throw that over there, external hard drive. This has got to be old. External hard drive thing. This has got to be a fossil. It's probably... Let's see, we can look at Windows 98 or XP. So this is old. This thing was probably not cheap back in its day. Well, this is kind of cool. There you go. Get yourself a World Series ball. You guys know my session with baseball and sports. Alright, I found these back there. Never even seen something like this. The screensaver. Prevent screen burn. You can buy this and it's your screensaver? That's wild. Guess you install screensavers back in the day. I don't know if this has any value, but these big box things sometimes do, so. Add to the collection of stuff. I got a new inbox Microsoft mouse, which might be kind of cool. Hours. All right. Now, the, so I had a book guy come, and he it took him two and a half hours to go through the whole entire house, and he took about a third of the books. But he was a machine. I I was so impressed. Uh, but he scanned everything. No. Oh, he did. No, he knew. He knew what genre sold. Uh, so he would grab like the whole hiking. He said anything fly fishing sells like right away. Yeah. He said uh, anything World War II goes right away. So he was just grabbing like big sections. And wow. the one weird thing he said about a book was like you take this book right. and it could be like a weird printing. So if it's like a odd first or like a second that there isn't a lot of, Instead of being two dollars, because you'll scan it, it'll say two dollars. But if the cover is just a little different, it could be forty-five dollars. Oh. Wow. So. All right, gonna head out of here pretty shortly. Uh, there's still a ton of stuff here. I really hope Dave can find somebody to take most of these books. Uh, I don't think he's gonna throw them in a dumpster, because I think they can definitely be used somewhere else. But yeah, probably gonna be head out of here shortly. I did grab probably about. Five or six bins of stuff, uh, maybe seven bins of stuff. Some cool items, definitely a lot of things I've showed you, so I think that's gonna wrap it up unless Dave's around. All right, Dave. Hey, thank you guys for grabbing so much stuff. Absolutely, if you guys haven't checked out Blue Bus Dave's channel, uh, I'll post a link down below. Blue Bus Dave does a lot of flea markets, these clean outs. He gave us this hookup on this one, so greatly appreciate it. Check out his channel. All right, see everybody later, peace. Alrighty, so I did make it back home. Uh, awesome day all around. Gotta give a big mention, a uh, big shout out to Blue Bus Dave to do a little picking at the uh, the states. So, you know, I definitely grabbed a couple really good items. At least I think they're really good items. We got a couple older brown tag, North Face. 
sleeping bag. So you have a green one. This one is a red one. See, there's a North Face tag on it. Uh, the people were huge into hiking and camping. I am someone who's never really been hiking and camping. I don't, you know, I like sleeping in my own bed. That's one thing with me is like, I don't want to sleep at someone's house. I will drive home at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. Uh, if I don't have to sleep at someone's house, I'll drive 2 hours, whatever it might be. I just like being in my own bed. So camping and hiking is just not up my alley. Uh, so I don't really know a lot about, you know, a variety of brands. There were a lot of brands there that I didn't really know too much about. Uh, obviously, they grabbed that one Patagonia thing. We have some DVDs, whole box of DVDs there. Some of these odds and ends computer things. We got some screen savers, but in this big box, if you're a big Star Trek person. This is really cool, very nostalgic in a way. Uh, the mouse, I didn't look it up, but it's still sealed. Sometimes these old computer parts get a little bit. I did grab a couple books. There were a ton of books there. We got the pencils. Uh, I did grab one thing of slides, I know uh, this is actually something Dave was telling me, is that people grab these. All right, here's how it goes. Now, sometimes these slides are worth money, depending on what's on them. These are very simple ones, but these slides will probably be, I think, online on eBay. You can look them up. They're like, I don't know, 500 for 30 bucks. There's definitely not 500 there. Uh, these cases are great for people who do coin collecting, all right, because it's the very... It's a very, very similar style in terms of these cards, and they fit perfectly in this container. So these things are kind of sought after just for the case alone. More books. Uh, also grabbed very, very cool North Face, kind of like a canvas, not a canvas, uh, a bag, uh, like a knapsack kind of bag for your laundry. Awesome. Very, very cool. And my favorite piece, we saw a couple things of clothes in there. We got some shoes, fanny packs, the duffel bag, or the, uh, the master's golf bag. My favorite piece is most definitely this awesome Patagonia. Check that out. Doesn't really do any, doesn't really do his thing justice by being in the shade and the sun and all this, but awesome, awesome patches all around. You got Antarctica, you got some polar cruise things, some more Antarctica patches. I don't know if these are added on. This is a keeper for sure. This is not being sold. Uh, I know a lot of people did comment, I know a lot of people did comment on his channel. Talking about, you know, oh, Taco Stacks love Patagonia. Taco Stacks loves Patagonia. Uh, and he did save it for me. He knew that I was coming over. So uh, he did not take it. Obviously, you know, he knows the value in this. Uh, and I greatly appreciate that. But overall, a couple, couple good items there. A very, very fun day. There's another bin back there of other things. But uh, kind of just the gist of what I grabbed. Also grabbed this little Ferrari thing. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys... If you guys enjoyed the video, you haven't checked out Blue Bus Dave's channel, check it out. Paper Moose is also there, so check out her channel. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys want to see more, subscribe down below if you haven't already. And hit the like button so I know you guys enjoy this kind of content. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's adventure. Until tomorrow, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.